Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video we're going to show you how to replace the uh, driver's side window regulator which is the same as the passenger side regulator on this 98 Venture and that's basically the same as any 97 to 05 Venture or Montana Transport or Silhouette. Tools you'll need are a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet, uh, a flat blade screwdriver, and a pair of large pliers. First you're going to want to Tie up this switch plate, okay, and then actually unplug the three connectors. And I find it easiest just to kind of press on this black tab and then pry. Okay, that one out. Um, and this green one, kind of the same thing. Use a screwdriver, press on that tab. Push. Okay. And then this mirror switch. Okay, there's a little tab right here that you need to pry back with your fingernail or a screwdriver. And then pull the connector out. I've already done that before so it was looked kind of easy. That will require some force usually the first time. Now again with your screwdriver, you're going to pry out this bezel here. Around your door handle. Now there are two 10 millimeter screws. One right in there and then one right down there and you need to remove those. Okay and we'll speed up removing those and I'm using a 10 millimeter socket with a ratchet and extension. Put those out, now there's just a series of pins around the outside perimeter and then two right in here um, that you need to pull out. So you can either use a like a putty knife or something to get underneath. I actually just work my fingers right underneath up here and then give a good tug, work down further. Give a good tug. Okay. And just work my way right around the door panel. And then it comes off. Next, you're going to want to remove your water shield carefully. Set it aside. You want to unlock your window from your window track. Okay, sounds a little weird, but basically there's a couple tabs, one here and then one here. And you press those tabs, you press the tabs, and at the same time, slide your, you can see this is sliding, slide your window track back, okay, and that unlocks the window. Okay, you can lift your window up. Now you can see I lifted the window up. I used some painter's tape just to secure it. You want a nice big pair of pliers and to remove your window regulator, you're going to release this balance spring. Okay, and This spring has a lot of tension on it, so when you get it off, you want to be ready because it's going to want to turn your wrists. Okay, so grab hold of it. Okay. Off and around. You can take that right off. Turn this counterclockwise with the screwdriver while you hold on to the regulator and then pull it out. Okay. That allows your regulator to come down and then right here it's in another track. You just need to slide it back and out of that track and then not get your hands. Okay. 
regulator comes right out. Now what you want to do is take either your big pliers or needle nose pliers and the regulator has been crimped on the ends here so you have to bend that back out here. Okay. So you release the crimp on that track. Okay, just keep um, keep in mind which way this is going. Okay. Slide your regulator out. New regulator from 1A Auto. And just for comparison, you can see it's just like the old one. is I put a little bit of grease on uh, my slides there, slide that one in, okay, and then this little spacer goes in, and that one slides in, so we're all set there again. in and first we'll get this uh, in up here just feel uh, you can feel the end of this track here get that in and slide it back to where the motor is. And have it in place here. Put that back on. Turn it to lock it in place. Okay, and it's okay that it's in a different spot than where it was originally. What's easiest is to Key on, take your power window switch, and run your uh, regulator all the way up. And we can take our pliers and crimp. I forgot to do this before, should have really done this before. But... Just crimp the end a little bit. What we can do is we'll put this spring back on. And you want it down like that. Okay. Take your pliers, grab them on nice and tight, twist it around and put it on. Make sure it's all on there. that the window has to go into, it goes in between, and you want to have this slid back. This slides forward, so it's clipped on. Alright. Water shield back on. door panel. Just make sure you get all your harnesses up and through. I kind of look back here because it's easy to see this pin, guide it right in there, okay, and then there's a pin in the front that just kind of guides it.
bezel back in there. This screw I put into my extension and socket first. You want to tighten them up firm. You don't want to be too tight because they just go into plastic so it could strip out. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.